Hi folks, I'd like to welcome you all to my new vlog and uh, I received some very very positive feedback from my uh, ones I'd done from Albufeira in the Algarve back in October so I thought I'd do one of my adopted hometown of Kilkenny and it's the uh, 7th of April 2020, it's just after 8pm and uh, we're in the middle of the Covid-19 crisis and I thought I'd give you bit of a guided tour around the deserted streets because we're not going to get anything like this at all in the future well I hope not anyway but uh, just in front of you there that's a magnificent Kilkenny Castle and uh, I believe Kilkenny got its city status back in uh, 1409 I believe unless I stand corrected could have been 1609 1609 uh, the Royal Charter um, I should know it better because I was on press photography that day um, back in April in 2009 doing stuff for the now defunct Kilkenny Advertiser. Right, I'll just give you a tour of uh, if ever you decide to visit, it's what to expect. And uh, it's approaching sunset, we're on Mare's Walk. And just to the right over the wall, that's the Rose Garden of Kilkenny Castle and the gates are closed at the moment. So I'd have to go back during the day if I'm allowed in to show you how magnificent the gardens are of the castle and this is the parade plaza uh, and this was newly built as well within the last 10 years um, that was around yeah, 2009 I think they completed it that's one of the uh, that old bank building there that's now a bar called left bank which is a very popular venue expensive but popular <laughs> Right, so we head into Rosin Street. There's still a bit of traffic around, that's expected, but nowhere near as much as uh, what you'd normally find around this hour, because you often find cars all lined up, up to those traffic lights there, but not in this case. Now we've just approached, I like to call this my happy place in Kilkenny, we're on Canal Square and that's uh, just in front of us, it's uh, one of my favourite benches to sit on, where I like to watch the world go by on a warm summer's evening, just right there, with the River Court Hotel in front of us. And uh, here's another view of the castle, if you're here. Um, at dusk they do light it up so it, it looks pretty good anyway in the evening and this is actually a good spot where you often find people feeding the ducks and the swans and that's uh, St John's Bridge there with uh, Matt the Miller's the Orange Building that's another popular venue too especially on a Monday night it's packed to the rafters with uh, hospitality stuff and that's a hurling sculpture hurling is a sport which is very very popular in Ireland which is played with uh, what look like bats but they're not actually they're hurlies or hurls which they're called locally and uh, this was this came about I think they set this up in May 2016 and uh, this takes you for a wonder which runs parallel to where we were before we started off the video that's Canal Walk it goes for, out for a mile to uh, Osry Bridge at the far end. But that's a bit too far for us to walk this evening. <music> By crossing over John's Bridge. But it sure beats swimming anyway. I like to keep myself dry. <laughs> and the building just right in front of us, um, just over a year ago, it uh, tragically was uh, involved in a bit of arson there, but they've done a pretty good job restoring it anyway. Looks like the job's almost complete, but uh, I can see an open window just up above. Yeah, they're still uh, putting bits of it together there. 
they put some nice graffiti on the workers board there outside as you can see actually I've actually noticed this for the first time but it's amazing what happens when you just walk around the place instead of driving or cycling on my part for the most part so. 